Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action. I'm back in New World and today we're talking about the different types of attacks and the different types of damage you can do and all that goes with it. I'm talking about different colors, different arrows, up and below, icons, things like that. We're going to go right into this. So this is a bit of a guide and let's just start right at this beginning. There are different colors when you do damage. And I don't know if you've looked at that, but if you look closely, there are a bunch of different colors. There's white, there's yellow, there's blue, and there's bright orange. What this basically means is, depending on the type of attack you're using, the, the monster, or the mob, I guess the mob would be the better word, is either taking regular damage, reduced damage, extra damage, or critical damage. So let's get right into that. But before I do, I want to let you know that there are a number of different damage types in this game. So there's slashing, thrusting, striking, fire damage, ice damage, nature void, lightning, and arcane. That is a mouthful. But I let you know that because if you're if you're using a weapon and it's doing reduced damage, you can very quickly switch to a different weapon and you can do that right on the fly and then look for a weapon that will do uh, increased damage. So keep that in mind that there's all these different types of damage types. So making that switch, even if you're in the middle of a fight, can make a lot of spe sense, especially in PvP. Um, also, another pro tip is you can slot gems into your weapons that have an available gem slot to obtain the desired type of damage. So keep that in mind. You can, to some degree, switch damage types depending on the weapon and depending on the gem. All right, out of the way, let's get right into this. When you're doing damage, you're going to see two small arrows. If the arrows are above the icon, you're going to see an icon too. It means that the mob is vulnerable to that damage type and they're taking extra damage. That looks like yellow. So you're going to see yellow. You're going to see a yellow color to the, the number of damage that you do. And you're going to see the arrows above the icon, and that means you're doing extra damage. If the arrows are below the icon, and that means they're resistant to damage, you will also see blue attached to that. So if the numbers are popping up as blue, you're basically not doing as much damage as you want to be doing. And you may, in fact, want to consider switching weapon types. Um, a white attack is a basic attack. It means you're doing stamage, standard damage. Damage is not a word. You're doing standard damage. And uh, yeah, you've got no modifier. So you're not doing extra. You're not doing nothing. It's it's white. It's wonder bread. It's basic. Okay. Um, the last one you'll notice is the orange. And that means when the attack is orange, that means you're doing critical damage. And of course, when you do critical damage, that's really, really pretty. We like that. So try and get them critical strikes as much as you can. So that is the gist of the colors. And keep in mind that the arrows and the icon, they're very hard to see. But depending on their placement, that will tell you whether or not you're doing some work or you should consider switching up. Um, what else can I tell you a little bit about them? That is the gist of the damage and, and how you do it, guys. If there's any guides that you want to see, anything you want explained, of course, leave us a message in the comments below. We're working hard on New World. We've created MGN.GG, has all sorts of New World guides going up, and we've got hundreds more planned. Let us know in the comments below, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. A ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. Be back soon.